As of May 4, 2020, the World Health Organization reported a total of 3,435,894 confirmed cases of COVID-19 globally, with 239,604 deaths. There are now 1,433,736 confirmed cases in the region of the Americas. On May 5, 2020, the Ministry of Health and Wellness received the results of 33 tests conducted on persons who had presented at our facilities and community testing for COVID-19. All of these 33 samples tested negative for COVID-19. To date, a total of 475 tests have been conducted nationally, and of this, 18 persons have tested positive. Of these confirmed cases, 15 are fully recovered and have reintegrated into their communities, and three are active cases currently in hospital care. These three cases are all stable and are responding well to care from the clinical team. The five respiratory clinics, which have been established island-wide, allow for the early identification, testing, isolation, and treatment of cases of COVID-19. Of the 18 confirmed cases which St. Lucia has recorded, 12 of them, that is two thirds, have been captured through our community respiratory clinics. This points to the utility of these clinics in efficiency of point of care in the national COVID-19 response. The Ministry of Health and its various departments engaged in implementation of the health sector's response is on high alert as we all recognize that COVID-19 continues to be a public health threat. It is our awareness of this that drives us to continue to work intensively in implementing all of the core components of our health sector response, including screening, testing, contact tracing, health education, and clinical care. We recognize the efforts of a wide cross-section of the population in adopting the recommended infection prevention and control measures and taking the necessary precautions when going out into the public. We note that many cases of COVID-19 are mild, so we continue to recommend that anyone with respiratory signs and symptoms should refrain from going into public places. We continue to request that every individual practice the standard recommendations to prevent the spread of infection. And these include regular hand washing with soap and water or the use of alcohol-based hand sanitizer where soap and water may not be available. To so cover your mouth and nose with disposable tissues when coughing and sneezing and also to avoid close contact with anyone showing symptoms of respiratory illness such as coughing or sneezing. Also, wear your homemade mask when leaving the house and maintain a six foot distance when in public, even while wearing your mask. Seek medical attention if you have symptoms suggestive of respiratory illness. When shopping, refrain from touching items unless you intend to buy them and avoid mass crowd events and activities at this time. The Department of Health and Wellness will continue to provide you with regular updates on COVID-19.